Georgia State's men's tennis team starts their spring competition and the basketball team plays in an instant classic. Needless to say, primetime sports starts now. I'm David Shealy and we begin with Georgia State's men's tennis. They split their opening weekend of spring competition as the men fell to Alabama in the season's first match but returned home and defeated Furman. Here's what head coach Brett Ross had to say about their one and one start. Uh, I was pretty impressed with our doubles. Um, you know, we, we played Alabama pretty tight in doubles and then Furman is, is kind of known as a, as a good doubles team um, and we were able to take the doubles point there. So. Um, I learned that we're, we're a pretty solid doubles team and um, a couple of the freshmen, two of the freshmen got their first wins uh, in the Furman match. So, um, you know, I think they're ready to, uh, to play well on this stage too. Georgia State basketball hosted a doubleheader versus in-state rival Georgia Southern on Tuesday. In the women's game, Erica Norwood led the Lady Panthers with 13 points, but it wasn't enough as Georgia State fell to Georgia Southern 61 to 50. The men's game was much more competitive, and primetime sports correspondent Jared Oliver has all the details. Well, the Panthers meet in-state rival Georgia Southern for the first time this season. Now, despite the Eagles' 6-10 record, I asked Coach Hunter about the Eagles, and he told me that they're amongst one of the best teams in the country at creating steals. And I asked how will they recover from that huge loss against the Raging Cajuns last Saturday, and he told me that, hey, that loss is out of, is out of our minds. We moved on. The most important thing we can do now is worry about the Eagles and win. First possession of the game. If you don't think this state versus southern rivalry doesn't mean anything, listen to the crowd after Kevin Ware's shot. And Ware scores from three, scoring the Panthers' first five points of the game, eventually going on a 12-2 run. The Eagles stuck around later in the first half, shooting the lights out. Mike Hughes hitting from deep, even deeper. That's just not right. Southern led 31-27 at the half and not much changed at the start of the second. The Eagles went up as much as 11. Later in the second, Panthers start to close the gap. Southern up 39-31, but Isaiah Dennis gets the steal and narrows the lead to six. 135 left, Panthers up 53-52. Smith misses from the corner, but Jake Osmiler for the lead. Kansas. Georgia State inbounds, an off-the-ball foul is called, which sends Jeremy Hollowell to the line. Hollowell, both nothing but net. Game tied at 55 apiece. Mike Hughes heaves it from deep. No good. Hollowell gets the rebound. Just seconds left. Passes it to Isaiah Dennis for the win. The crowd and bench absolutely loses it. Check out the security guard running off the plug, and he ain't calling back. The question is, did he get the shot off before the clock ran out? Official says, basket, no good. Overtime. Williams getting busy off the dribble. Splash. Panthers up 63-59. Hollowell with the sweet pull-up. They go up by six. 65-63, Panthers up with 46 seconds left. Georgia Southern intentionally fouls. Where to the line? He misses the second. Still two-point game. Crowder gets it back. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? Didn't miss that. Second one goes down. 14 seconds left. Three-point game. Looking to tie. No good. Georgia State wins a tight one, 69 to 66. Ike Smith finishes with 23 points for Southern. TJ Shipes gets a double double, 14 points and 13 rebounds. It doesn't matter what the records are or what happens. Um, there's a lot of pride in there, a lot of kids from Georgia on that floor. Um, the atmosphere was unbelievable, it was terrific. Um, we didn't play great. I was concerned about this game, especially after what happened Saturday. Uh, we've had to play four games in five days. I mean, uh, nine, four games in nine, eight days. And, uh, you know, we're a little banged up, a little tired. Uh, so that was a good check. Thank you so much, Jared. Both the men's and women's team have a three-game road trip before returning home to host Texas State on February the 4th. Georgia State Sports Arena is home to some of the most rowdy fans in the nation. And over the next few weeks, primetime sports correspondent Rashad Milligan will feature a fan full of Panther pride. Here's the first edition of this new series. 
Welcome to the GSU Sports Arena, home to perhaps the most unique basketball atmosphere in the country. A place where everyday students and alumni can become stars in a matter of big board cameos and an atmosphere that even impresses ESPN correspondent Terrence Moore, who has covered the line of sports for over four decades now. I go to Georgia Tech, I go to Georgia, but it's something about this crowd here. Everybody's into the game, you're so close, you're right there, and I love the fight song. And one of the things they do here, more so than any place else, the band never stops, the crowd never stops, and it's always enthusiastic, it just gets you hype. And the main source of the hype comes from film major and junior Jack Brinson, also known as the Blue Bandit. Brinson arrives early during the women's game, dressed as any other college student, before leaving as Clark Kent with about four minutes to go in the game, and returning three minutes later as Superman, or as you may now know him, the Blue Bandit. It was the same exact school colors and everything that happened to have the wig and happened to have a hat that went for Georgia State. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I add the wig and the hat to my confirmation when I go to um, college? So I did that. I met up with some of the guys in Panther Nation, and it just kicked off from there. In one of the more memorable games while at GSU, Brinson's favorite moment of the night stood out among the others. I mean, the swag surfing was pretty fire. I mean, because when they played that song, the whole stadium got into it, and it was lit for about at least about four minutes straight, just nonstop. Everybody just down their feet, everybody chanting and everything, and it was just crazy. It's been a minute since I've seen it that, that wild at a, a single game. Brinson also emphasized how important school spirit and support for the school image is. It looks so much better when you have everybody instead of just myself and my friends standing up. When the whole state, um, whole school gets into it, it helps the team out and looks better for TV, and it just makes the whole atmosphere better. In the future, Brinson hopes to continue to bring a Duke-like atmosphere to Georgia State's student section. All right, so here from the Sports Arena, I'm Rashad Milligan. This is the Blue Bandit, and we just gone. Dab, 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 dab. For primetime sports, I'm Rashad Milligan. Back to you. Play ball. Now, if you noticed at the end of that package, the Blue Bandit and Rashad were dancing, and Rashad always gets his interviewees to dance. So here's a compilation of the interviewees of Rashad Milligan doing their favorite dances. Nene, you want to hit it for us right now? Yo! <laughs> All right, appreciate that, Chris. Uh, my favorite dance, you know, the drop. It's still the drop? Yeah, still the drop, still the drop. It, you want to hit it for us real quick? Uh, drop! Yeah. All right, all right. Hit, hit the dab for a prom. <laughs> dab! DJ Bohan is going to hit the quan for us. I'm going to hit the quan for you guys. All right, here we go. Hit the quan. Hit the quan. <laughs> Christina Sinton is gonna do the uh, the Macarena for prime time. Oh All right, here we go. Hey, na 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 Thanks for being with me. Remember, you can get all the latest Georgia State sports news by subscribing to our YouTube channel at GSU Primetime Sports. Remember to follow Primetime Sports on Twitter at Prime Sports with a Z. I'm David Sheely. Have a great week.